Kyle here from Maniac Graphics Supply. In this next video, I show you how to cut by color and silhouette. So as you can see on the screen here, I have a nice unicorn image with uh, four colors on it. So basically, if you wanted to cut this, what a lot of people end up doing is they will take the pink off, they will take the yellow off, they will take the blue off, and then they will go and send this to their silhouette and it'll cut this and then they'll go back to their design and they'll move the pink on and they'll move the black on and they'll cut this and you know honestly for a lot of stuff this is how I do it but it can get it can be super tedious uh, especially if it's a design that you purchased or somebody made for you um, it can kind of be irritating to break all this stuff apart, especially if things aren't grouped correctly. So what I'm going to show you today is how to cut by color, so that way it makes it super easy to, um, you know, just knock this job out very quickly. So I have all the colors here, and now I want to send it to the silhouette. So you know how to do that. You go to the top, you hit the send in the top right corner. And right here below the design says simple line and fill. Now, if I click on the line, you'll see that this is only showing one color red. That's because all of these colors have a red outline. So most things by default have a red outline. So if we go back to our design, and I'm just going to pull these apart. So I can show you guys. So we have the black here, and if I click in the corner here, if we have this selected in the corner here, it shows your black setup. So we can go ahead and we can change this to any color blue. We can change it back to black. And then the box next to it, where you see that it's red, is your line color. So I'm going to switch this out with this yellow here, because I think it's going to be easier to see the line color change. As you can see, there's a slight red there. If I change this to purple, changes to purple, to red, peach. It's kind of hard to see, but you get the idea. Black. It's going to change that back to yellow. So we got that, that there. So if I have these two on here and then I go back to the sun panel and then we go to line colors. It's actually showing the red for the unicorn and outline and then the yellow for this one. So these could be stacked on top of each other and on the same screen and you're just going by the line color. I personally like to go, let me, put, let me go back to design real quick before I get into it. Get this, this yellow back, grab this blue. So it'll have to be perfect because they're gonna cut separately. So I like to do the fill, I don't like to mess with the lines too much. So as you can see here with the fill, I can pick the pink and it's, now it's gonna cut all of the pink. I can unclick that and I can click the black and now it's gonna cut all of the black and then I can go to blue and then I can go to yellow and I can also change which tool so tool one or tool two so if I was gonna cut the pink cut the black cut the blue but then I wanted to draw the red I could click that to tool two and change this to a pen and it would do both at the same time which I think is pretty cool so you just want to make sure you go through here and you change all of your, um, make sure you change your materials to what each material in relation to the color is. So this is all heat transfer smooth, so you're just going to go through here and make sure all these are heat transfer smooth. But if the pink was easy weed, you would set this to easy weed and then you would go and you could preset the black to 
glitter, and then the blue could be holographic, and then the yellow could be another sheet of Easy Weed. So you could preset all these beforehand, so that way when you go to start cutting, you're just knocking it out very quickly. Um, it doesn't show a tool here because I don't actually have a Cameo plugged in, but it would normally have all the, the blade, the speed, and the force settings there. Um, and I can go over that in a separate video. But that's basically it. Here's your two line colors. So you have red. Everything but the yellow is has a red line color because I changed it. And then the yellow is there. So if you have this and you, know, you, you have your design here, I'm going to show this real quick. If you are cutting the pink, you can actually grab the pink and move it to wherever you want it on the mat so it cuts to optimize the piece of vinyl that you have. It's not all set exactly where you have it. So that's basically it for the uh, cut by color. You know, you have your simple where it's going to cut whatever is cuttable on the mat. You have your line, so whatever you have selected here. And same with the materials and stuff. Um, you can preset for each one. And then the fill, whatever your fill color is. That's just going to cut the black. Cool. So if you have any questions about this, please uh, comment. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I look forward to making a bunch more videos for you as well. So if you have any ideas for videos, please reach out to me, and I will get them done as soon as possible. Thanks for taking the time to watch.